Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. On this channel we talk about all things fandom and we talk about them in a positive way. Now today of course we have to talk about a subject that keeps on coming up because the news just keeps coming out and that of course is Halloween ends. So on Reddit there is a post about a missing girl. So let's jump right into that. The character is a girl named Megan Baxter. And Megan Baxter was missing since October 30th of 2021. The telephone number listed is a 555 number, which hints that is probably part of this movie. Also, some people that live in the town have said that this is not a poster that appeared. This is not a billboard that appeared in their neighborhood. So, that being said, it is more than likely from this movie. Why put a poster out like that if you are going to not have it be relevant? So, that tells me one of two things. Either A, this is our opening kill and we're going to be visiting 2021 before we make the time jump from three years to four years. Because remember, there's a four-year time jump here. So we could be going to 2021 very briefly and then turn around and go to 2022. This would be okay if this was our opening kill. It would, however, mean that the Michael Myers... Flashback may not be a thing. Now, I've heard some other rumors about this situation as well. I've heard that the Michael Myers flashback is some sort of potential vision that someone has of Michael Myers as a kid for whatever reason. Potentially, this is a game changer for two reasons. If this is the opening kill... Then we're going to make a stop in 2021 and we might learn something about where Michael Myers has been hiding out, what's he been doing in the time we haven't seen him since the last movie. If, however, it is not a scene in the movie, but just a poster we see, you wouldn't have that poster in existence if it wasn't at least going to be talked about briefly by someone. It has to be talked about by someone. That's why I think it is potentially possible we're going to be doing a brief stop in 2021 to see this victim happen. Now, if we don't, then that's all good too. It's going to be mentioned by someone as, hey, this is what Michael Myers has been doing. Maybe they've been hunting him down. Maybe that's the thing. They've been hunting for Michael Myers for this entire time. The possibilities here are endless. And if you look on IMDb right now, they don't list but like about six people that are in this movie. And they do that intentionally. They don't want to give out all the information. And in a case like this, the mystery of who this girl is may actually grow to be one of their marketing ploys. It's potentially possible. Now, the thing of it is, with this movie coming out in October, there's a lot of time to kill. It's in post-production. And... More leaks are bound to come out, and we will keep you posted on all of these as they come out. That being said, we do urge you to check out some of our other content. We are a fandom channel, not a Halloween channel primarily, but we will cover whatever news comes out about all the movies, TV shows, games, whatever. That's what we do. And we do it in a positive way because a lot of YouTube is very negative. So definitely check out some of our other stuff. Now, what do I think is going to happen in Halloween Ends? Well, that's kind of the thing right now 
the potential is out there for this to bring Michael Myers into a whole new franchise, which I ultimately think is the goal. I know that they have said that this is the last of the trilogy, and it probably will be just that, the last of the trilogy. The more evidence I'm hearing, the more evidence there is that Michael Myers could potentially go on after this trilogy. Now, whether this means that we get to see a younger Michael Myers again, or we get to see the same guy playing Michael Myers for the time being, remains to be seen. I do think there's also room for some of the other stuff that they're doing. Um, like the like the masks. Don't forget about the Silver Shamrock masks, which have played a somewhat prominent role in the Halloween trilogy so far. Even though it's in the background, a lot of people really want to know why it's there. And I kind of do too. And then, of course, people are talking about the radio tower and could this play a part. So that is always in the background, too, of the theories and ideas that are out there that people have. And as these ideas come forward, we'll keep on trying to figure it all out. But in the meantime, I think that this proves that Michael Myers has been active during this time. So at the very least, this doesn't have to be the last Michael Myers movie. We could do a movie about something that happened within the last four years because Michael Myers has apparently been active in the last four years. This is a game changer in so many ways and has me personally as a Halloween fan super excited and I hope it has you guys excited too. Now, hey, let me know what you think in the comments about all that. Definitely, definitely leave us a comment because we love to hear from you. YouTube likes it when we hear from you. And don't forget, if you like this video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And while you're hitting that subscribe button, there's that wonderful little notification bell. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a single video we do. Miko, as always, says we need more subscribers and we have to believe him because this face, this face right here, wouldn't lie to you. Make sure that you are sharing this with all of your friends so they get all the same great content you get. And friends, remember at the end of the day, we love you all and we wish you nothing but the best. Be safe out there. And remember, fandom is family.